stuck with hoisin sauce flavour Pringles, they usually nail the flavour. Can't wait for this. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK, my name's MJ and today we are reviewing the new Peking Duck with Hoisin Sauce Flavour Pringles Rice Fusions. These are made with rice flour. Uh, is it in addition to potato starch? Yeah, it is in addition to potato, so it's like a ricey potato snack. We've done a few of the other flavours, so check out those videos. Uh, excited for this, let's give it a smell. Yeah, can definitely get uh, a... Yeah, fairly strong smell of um, of duck with hoisin in there. Let's see what the seasoning is. Yep, star anise, ground, uh, ginger, molasses. Yeah, smoke. There's a decent amount of uh, good flavourings in there. Let's give it a, a try. Oh, wow. What the hell is going on? That is mental. Again. Again, they've captured the flavour really well. I've been extremely impressed with all of this range, the rice fusions. Wow, that is crazy. Definitely getting that star anise fruit, which is one of the key flavours of a duck with hoisin sauce. I'm not getting the meaty duck flavour quite so much, but because of all the other flavours in there, like I'm sort of even getting a hint of the pancake, which is, I guess, the crisp itself. But because of the, uh, the spices and the sweetness and the savouriness, I think it's maybe tricking me into thinking that it is like the duck, well it is the duck experience, but there's just maybe no meat there. I'm not saying that's a bad thing though, it's honestly close enough for me. Hmm. Now one of the sheer joys of uh, crispy Chinese duck sort of thing, crispy Peking duck, whatever you want to call it, duck pancakes, uh, is the amazing combination of textures that includes that thin and sort of chewy um, tortilla wrap thing the pancake. Um, the crispy and chewy and meaty duck and the sweet and intense and savoury hoisin sauce. So it's very much fla a flavour game and an intensity game for me. So this is probably my least favourite one of the rice fusions because I, I just think that particular flavour combination or, or not flavour combination but the, the trying to capture that dish is so hard to do. I think they've probably done close to as good a job as possible though and it's still a bloody impressive product and very worthy of a, of a solid 4 star. As of time of recording we've just got one more of these to review which is the Tandoori Masala but I don't know which order I'm uploading them in so um, yeah but check the channel anyway because we have got some more reviews on there for that. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this instalment of Food Review UK, if you're new check out Sweaty Thumbsticks, which is our gaming and let's play and crude British humour channel run by myself and Luke. Luke is an awesome guy, so support him at least if not me. Um, actually I said if you're new do that, but if you're old do that as well if you're not checked out. Cheers guys! After opening, enjoy within three days or refrigerate. <laughs> Good three days. <laughs> yeah you win a t-shirt if you keep it that long. <laughs> Great, great badger Thank you. He was family friendly as well. Yeah, it really was, like, yeah. fair play to you. Isn't it? 